There we go. Is that any good? Can yeah, you hear you me? Good? Yeah, I can hear you now. How's it going? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. You've been training? Yeah. Yeah, how's that been? In between sessions. Pardon? How's that been? Sorry, I'm just a bit jet lagged because I came back Sunday morning. So mm. I still need to get used to UK time again. Uh, yeah, I see, I see. How was that? How, how was that over there? Sorry, my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was good. all right. It was all right. Oh, good. Uh, I was looking through some of your uh, fight history, amateur fights, and I noticed that, on, well, the majority of your fights are round one victories, especially yeah. your last one as well. Your last fight was a round one victory and your odds were heavy, heavy favourite on you. How does that feel to be a fighter so far undefeated with most victories absolutely dominant? Yeah, obviously, it's a good feeling and it shows that what I'm doing is the right thing to do, but at the same time, I know I've got a lot of things to still correct and get better at. So it uh, doesn't make that much difference, to be fair. As long as I win, I'm happy. Yeah, of course. What what got you in? Did, did you, uh, like, grow up wanting to do mixed martial arts? or? Yeah, so obviously because of my dad, I've always been involved with fighting. So I was wrestling as a kid, boxing and kung fu. Karate. I've, I've done everything. And uh, he opened his gym in, like... <laughs> Sorry, my teammate. <laughs> uh, I was doing like in like 2010, and I like that's when I started doing it properly. And since then, this, this is the thing I like, I love it. So, yeah, so you've been doing it since a kid, yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, what did you what did you start off with? What was your, your first one? That the first martial arts I've ever done that was karate, and I was like two and a half, I was like very, very young, oh, two and a half, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, you started off with striking, um, well, yeah, like it was always a karate, then I went to kung fu. But then when I started doing it properly with like mainly wrestling and then aside, like next to that, it was like uh, jiu-jitsu and MMA, whatever, but it was mainly wrestling for me. Um, so obviously you're coming off a round one victory. Have you got any your plans from now to go, going from there? Not really. Like the, my only plan is just to get better and then whoever they give me, I'm just going to have to beat them up. But that's <laughs> uh, like, yeah, I'm not really looking for like specific people. So for, for now, at the moment, it's just for me to improve. So you don't have any names at the moment you're looking for? Do you have any names mm. you'd like to fight, their styles match, just in the future? Not really, not really. I'm Listen, I just want to be the best in the world, and in order to do that, I'm going to have to beat everyone up. So, yeah, yeah so that, that's yeah. it, really, nothing else. So you're saying you, you uh, want to become the best in the world. Do you have anything <clears> you think makes you different, puts you ahead, mindset, abilities... Yeah, my team is definitely one. Um, also, like, the people that are around me. Um, yeah, like, this is all I do. This is all I want. So I definitely have that mindset. And to be fair, I feel like that's that's all you need, really. To, that's to, true. All, yeah. yeah. And always you need to be around the right people, which I'm I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, like, the people that are around me, not just the teammates, but the coach, everyone is just amazing. So... Uh, yeah, I'm I'm very lucky to be in this position. You're under London London Shoot Fighters, right? Yes, exactly. What's it what's it like yep. training there? It's a lot a lot of big people from London Shoot Fighters. No, hundred percent. I love I love it here. We've got a different kind of atmosphere compared to other gyms, and you know it's one of the. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's <laughs> yeah, so good. So good. Yeah. Uh, it's. I love it here. Everyone's always just messing about. Obviously, but we've got <laughs> like it's just a different kind of vibe here. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Um, so obviously you've been training since a kid. For people that, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah, so good, so good. <laughs> the amount of times <laughs> we've done this. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Well, what are they doing? Yeah, just messing about. <laughs> <I'm getting into laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> So, that's yep. so good that's so good i can edit it out anyway so don't worry about it no it's, it's fine <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah no what was i gonna say oh you've made my mind go blank now sorry oh, i was gonna say good. Yeah, yeah yeah i was gonna say so um obviously mixed martial arts is coming more into the light in the modern day more people are, are seeing it as a sport rather than a, a backstreet brawl sort of thing you know yeah. as it used to be a misconception what would you say to people that might still be afraid of mixed martial arts when it comes to that sort of misconception? What would you say to get them into it as a sport? Yeah, I mean, I feel like most people doesn't give MMA the chance 
to to change their mind. So that's all I would say. Just watch few fights. Just try to understand it better. Because once you understand it, you realize that it's not just two people just hitting each other like idiots. But there's a lot of thinking behind it, and also a lot of emotions and stuff like that. So it's it's not just a. I don't feel like it's a sport. It's more of a lifestyle. To be honest with you, that some people will never understand, but is fun to watch. For I mean, I know a lot of people who you wouldn't expect to watch MMA like before like eight year old or like uh, an eight year old lady once came up to me you know like she was like oh, I know who you are I always watch you there. I always watch the fights and I'm like oh my god so uh, is once you understand a bit better you realise that it's not just two idiots punching each other in the face what would you say the benefits are to those people the benefits of this like so obviously it is a dedicated lifestyle if you do go into yeah. it as a, as a dedication and it is also as just a side hobby or sport still beneficial yeah. what would you say the benefits of that would be well, obviously, the first benefit would be that you learn how to defend yourself, which yeah, is course. very important. But secondly, also teach you discipline and <laughs> it teaches you discipline. And um... <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I had to hey, from the gym. I'm really sorry. So. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it teaches <you> discipline. <laughs> so we have to move. <laughs> <It teaches. laughs> He's cracking up as well. He's cracking up as well. <laughs> Sorry. It's my shit, man. For this big hammer, too. Yeah, two of my teammates. Um, so is yeah, any, is anyone notable? Is anyone that you'd know? Yeah, yeah. You'd know? yeah but my, my shipment is in, is in Bellator. He's a, also Bellator middleweight. Um, obviously, Felix is one of the the biggest prospects in the UK. He's um, he's 5-0 as well. And mm. he's 100% finish rate in the first round. That's, so, he's yeah. yeah. So, he's just on a different level. Uh, and again, my shipment is just middle, middleweight. After the beast, he was a Bama world champion. Uh, finished by uh, Yannick Bahat with a spinning back fist. Um, so, yeah, yeah, they're just two very funny guys who are yeah. also clearly very rude. Um, but, yeah, obviously, it gives you discipline um, and, t- and teaches you respect. And t- you, you learn a lot of life lessons in the gym they wouldn't learn anywhere else, Is which is one of the re- one of the many reasons why I love it. Is uh yeah, I, I, you crack me up there to be honest. My mind, <laughs> sorry, it's, yeah, it's really like sorry. I'll get a trail for it, and then suddenly my brain's <laughs> gone blank again. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry, but <laughs> this is good. like once, once uh, before my last fight, I was doing a, an interview with a TV uh from Hungary, where I'm origin from, and we're in the hotel. These two started doing the same thing, and they end up not uh playing like not doing the interview because everyone was just cracking up like. Couldn't hold it together, so yeah. Yeah, it's fine. No, I can I can edit it out for the actual thing, and then I can it's just leave right. it in it's, for the... I, I feel like it's very funny, so you yeah, I might just leave it in to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. But yeah, no, the benefits, yeah, yeah the discipline especially, which it was shown right there, the discipline of yeah, yeah, yeah. good for discipline, yeah. Uh, um, but no, no, it's, it it does teach you a lot of stuff because you can't just mess about when it comes to fighting. Obviously, it can cost you. Your, even your life is like that. You, you can think about it that way. So it's very important that, the, and obviously, if you want to perform well, you have to show up to train. You have to eat well. You when you cut weight, you have to follow a diet plan. Everything is very like everything is very disciplined when it comes to fighting. Yeah, that's true. I think the Venom Page is from London Shoe Fighters, is he not? Exactly. Exactly. Have you, so have you just, tra- trained with people like that? Yeah, yeah, he's like we just we just uh, he just had a fight over the weekend. I yeah, was out of course. With him. Yeah. Um, yeah, we main sparring partners, obviously Mike Shipman there as well, Felix as well, like we're similar weight classes, so we train together, all of us, so yeah. Do you feel like training with fighters that might be, say, above you in the rankings at the moment, do you feel, does, does that benefit you? You get to learn from their skill sets, learn from their their experience? Yeah, 100%. Also, it shows the level I'm on, so depending on how I do against them, it shows if I've improved or you know all that kind of stuff and and you just learn so much from them they have everyone can give you something little sorry yeah 
No, sorry, sorry. That, that's all. That's all. Uh, how do you see yourself at the moment rocking with, with them? You said you, you can see how you've improved. Do you see yourself up there with them? Listen, what happens in the gym stays in the gym. So. Of course. But def- definitely, they they all like my big brothers. So, uh, and and we, we do have very good scraps when it comes to training. Yeah. So, obviously, your last, your last uh, fight was triangle, uh, last r- first round. Do you do yeah. you prefer wrestling over striking, or is that is that just a adapted discipline that you do in a situation where you need to? Yeah, listen, my fight before that, I was just using my hands mainly. I didn't really wrestle anything. Um, I was silly. I made I made a mistake in the first and seconds. I got I got hit with a big shot. Um, like straight away as soon as the round started, um, and I had to recover. And I knew that my ground game was better than his, so I had to go that way. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's the reason why I ended up there, but I prefer, I, I enjoy it everywhere. So yeah, but I, think, I, have to be, I have to be smart about it, whatever I'm better than the person, or I know that I've got a lot greater, like if I, if I know that I've got an advantage over you at a position, whether it's striking or, or jits or wrestling or in the cage or whatever, I will have to take the fight there. Of course, of course. I mean, most of your fights you've won through ground game. So yeah. you, you know your ground game is solid. Do you see, are you focusing more on striking for future fights or are you, are you still staying the same way you, you've always been? I'm, I've always been like this. I'm just doing it. Well, to be honest with you, I feel like um, a lot of... I, it, to be fair, my, my best performance was striking. So it's just I finished some of the fights on the ground, but my best performance was me striking basically the whole fight. So I, I don't really mind. It's whatever gets me to win. Of course, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so other than cracking me up, I've, I've lost, I lost my trailer thought on the questions. <laughs> it's all right. But, um, yeah, that's everything I think I had to ask. To be honest, I mean, I was I was just looking at your record. I I, I never knew your I never saw your amateur fight. Re- uh, what's it? Your amateur fight record. So I think you're on an eight fight yeah. win spree now. Obviously, your record's five and yeah. nine. You are on an eight fight win spree. Yeah. So actually, I'm on nine because I had one amateur fight that was never recorded anywhere. I was only thirteen years old. I was back in Hungary as well. Yeah, how did how so, did yeah. that go? How did that one uh, go? First first round down bar. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, another yeah. first round down bar, yeah. Another first round <laughs> yeah, wrestling yeah. to the to the record. Yeah. Yeah, see, exactly. Obviously that's um that's a, a massive, massive record. So I can see that when yeah. with people with big records, you you usually get the bigger fights faster and faster. Every time you win, you jump the ranking so much faster than someone that might be a lower record. Yeah. So I mean I I, I see big big things coming pretty quickly for you thank you appreciate that thank you it's all good yeah i, I mean your record speaks for itself really yeah well um, i'm trying really hard so <laughs> yeah work i mean you show your work in the cage don't you that's what you, you're working and you show it in the cage but other than that that is all the all the questions i got i, I think most of my questions yeah. disappeared in the in i'm, in... I'm really sorry about <laughs> that so no, it's, it's at least good... it's gonna be a funny interview yeah some good but, content yeah. some good content um, yeah 100 percent but yeah, I one one thing I did want to ask as well though is your first two fights I think were catchweight, were they not? I think catchweight, not middleweight. No, 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 no. The the first fight I had, a professional, you mean? Uh, amateur, amateur. Yeah, um, yeah, that was all over the place. Obviously, I was very young, so I didn't want to. Yeah, <laughs> it's, very, it's very young, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was, uh, I was very young, so obviously it was, what that was one of 79 <laughs> kilos, so one of, one of like 81, 82, <laughs> so, 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 um, yeah, basically. Yeah, so you, you ended up deciding on middleweight and then stayed there. I, yeah, I, I yeah, didn't yeah. know it was so young, I didn't know it was so young, otherwise that, yeah, that, was that does young, make sense, yeah. yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that, that is all I've got, my brain has died. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, thank you for your time, though. Thank you for your time. Nah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's all good. And uh, I'll, I'll edit this up and upload it within the next few days, and I'll tag you on it. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you for your time. All right.